Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have a romance book unhaul video for you. So in December I put together these beautiful bookshelves behind me and really had to go through all of my books on all of my shelves and I decided to purge books that I don't think I will ever read again that I don't really care that are in my collection and books that I think I'll never ever get to honestly. So I have quite a few stacks, stacks, plural, um, of books and I'm currently holding one to make sure it does not fall over because <laughs> um, it is so tall. Let's get into this. I'm just gonna quickly go over each book and tell you why I am unhauling it. First one is Wait For Me by Caroline Leach. I have read this. I think I enjoyed it. I gave it like four stars. This is more YA and um, I don't think, I, I don't think I need this in my collection anymore. And hopefully like someone else who is of a younger age will enjoy it more than I will. Another one that I read that I just don't want anymore is Most Eligible Billionaire by Annika Martin. I read this. I think it was like a three-star read. It was okay. I, I don't need it anymore. Um, I don't, I want to keep the books that I love on my shelves behind me. Like I don't want to keep books that are not my favorites. And so yeah, this was like a okay billionaire romance that I honestly really forgot about the moment that I finished it, unfortunately. Next I'm unhauling a whole series. Uh, this is the Off the Map series by Leah Riley. I've only read book one. And I got these as like a deal back when Book Outlet was big, you know, um, uh, like at the beginning of my booktube career, journey, whatever. And I read book one. I really liked it. It takes place in Australia. So if you want an Australian romance, this is it. And I think it's like new adult age. I haven't read this book in forever and I don't feel like rereading it. And I don't think I'm ever going to continue on with the series. So I'm just going to unhaul them. But the first one was great for when I first read it but I have no desire to read the other books. Yeah, this one's called Upside Down. This one is Inside Out and this one is Side Swipes. They're all about the same couple too, which I'm also like a contemporary romance book that spends, spans three books long about the same couple. Like, not my vibe. Next is Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. I don't think I will like this book. I don't see myself liking it. I really wanted to read it at the time that I got this, but I, I don't think I wanted to read it anymore. I just don't want to put in my effort to a book that I don't think that I will like. Next are two books by Mila Gray. So I, I don't know what's been going on with Mila Gray, y'all. I adored her um, first two books in this series. This is book three and this is book four. This is her like new adult contemporary romance series. These two are a total different vibe. Then the first two, Come Back to Me by Mila Gray is the first book in the series and it was one of my favorite books ever in high school. Like I was obsessed with it. It really helped me get into contemporary romances. It was fantastic. I loved it. And then book two was also fantastic. That one's about, they're all about war veterans. And the second one is about a war veteran who was injured during battle and it left him blind. And our heroine is kind of like his nurse and helps nurse him back to health and gain confidence in himself again after losing his vision. And it was so incredibly good. I cannot tell you anything about these two books. I did not like them that much. I even have, I think a rant video about this book on my channel like the first year that I did my booktube channel I think I have a rant a video about this which I hated doing so I think my first rant video I hated I hated doing that but like I was like who wrote this because it wasn't the same person who wrote books uh one and two so um I don't I don't think I'll try any more Mila Gray because I then read the fourth book in the series and it was like I didn't like it and so I think I'm just gonna not buy any more of her books and just keep the first two that I adore. Next are two books that I won from Goodreads giveaways like years ago that I have not read yet and I don't think I will. So I'm gonna be giving these two places. I'm not going to be selling these because you're not allowed to sell these books. So these are both ARCs so I'm not selling them just by the way. I'm just I'm gonna be giving them giving them to people. Um, so this is Starcrossed by Minnie Dark. I don't even know what this is about. And this one is More Than Words by Jill Stantelopo. I know nothing about these. These I think are more women's fiction-y than romance. And so I have no desire to read these honestly. And um, I'm gonna give them to people who will appreciate them more than me. I then have two books that I had to purchase uh, last year during my Eastern History of Eastern Europe class. And so, uh, yeah, this one is The Door by Magda Sazbo. Um, and this one is Under a Cruel Star 
by Hedda Ko Kowali. Kowali. Uh, yeah, I read these for my class that I had on the history of Eastern Europe because I had to do some history-based courses because I am a middle school four through eight English and social studies major. And so um, I had to take some um, higher level history grade courses. And so the history of Eastern Europe was the one that I could get into. <laughs> and so I read these two. They were enjoyable. I actually did find myself really liking these books. Um, the audiobook for this one was really great. Even though this book is freaking bonkers. I don't, I can, I don't understand this author at all. And this one was really interesting too, just talking about walking through a person's life during Eastern Europe and a war and everything. These were enjoyable, but I don't need them anymore. So this one, Read Into Me by Sarah Fox. I don't really want to read this anymore. This was in my book outlet buying days I bought this. And so I'm not really wanting to read this. Uh, let me know if you've read this and what you thought about it, but I don't think I will ever get around to reading this. Same goes with Faker by Sarah Smith. I don't think I'll read this. I haven't heard the greatest things about this book. I think it's like a construction worker thing. I don't know, honestly, but I haven't heard the greatest things and I also have zero interest to pick this up. I don't really remember why I picked this up. So I have four hardback romance books that um, I have zero interest in reading. Um, first is Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Don't really like Rainbow Rowell anymore. Um, I don't really want to read any more of her books. And I think this one's more women's fiction-y than romance anyway, which is not really my vibe. And yeah, I think this is about like a girl who calls this telephone and is able to like call somebody from a different time that she's in love with or something like that. I don't know. The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I am sad to say this, but like I have zero interest in reading this now. When I bought this last year, I think, or the year before, like it was totally, totally like on everybody's series of the year and everyone was into it. Like I don't have any interest in reading this anymore. I don't like the idea of like a romance happening through sticky notes, leaving in an apartment and them never seeing each other in person. Like that does not excite me whatsoever. And um, I'd rather watch the TV show or movie, whatever it is that's coming out next year instead of reading this book. But I have no clue if I'll actually like that. So <laughs> The Decent Proposal by Kemper Donovan. I've heard nothing about this book and I've had this for my whole entire time I've been on booktube and I've had zero desire to ever pick this up. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be sold. I then have The Dating Plan by uh, Sarah Desai. I have zero interest in reading this too. I haven't heard the greatest things about this book in general. So um, I don't think I will ever get to this also. There's just some romance books that you know that you have and you're like, will I ever read that? I don't think so. So going in the cell pile. A young adult one that I have is When by Victoria Laurie. So I did quote unquote on haul or like put in storage a bunch of young adult books that I have because I am a four through eight like education major and I never know what grade it would be put in if I do become a teacher one day. And so I want to keep a bunch of young adult books on hand that I don't necessarily um, love, but I think that are good books. So I think other kids would like. And so um, those are like in buckets under my bed. So um, those are like in storage that I'm just keeping for when and if I ever become like a higher up level middle school teacher. This is one I don't want in anyone's hands. I hated this book. I can't tell you why, I can't tell you what it's about, but I full on hated this book. So um, it's gonna be a no for me. <laughs> I also don't need Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I did read and love The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I don't think I'll ever read this book. I don't know if this relates to Daisy Jones and the Six, but I also will never probably read that one. I probably just wanna watch the movie whenever that one comes out. I've read. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I don't think I ever really want to read any other Taylor Jenkins read. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I don't know why I'm feeling that way. I just don't. And so I'm just gonna unhaul this one. The Royal We by uh, Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan is one that I have read and um, I don't think I will ever revisit. This is kind of like a uh, romance very inspired by the romance between William and Kate. So the Royal Family, this was sweet and all and cute. It was too large for my liking, went too long for my liking. And I don't see myself ever rereading this or uh, reading the sequel, so. Kids Like Us by Hilary Rail, Ray, Rail, Rail? <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is another one that I got on Book Outlet like at the beginning of my booktube journey that I just wanted. I wanted books for my shelves, you know? I've never picked this up and I don't think I ever will, honestly. And then I got this book, uh, Things for Last Night, and it's an anthology by three authors uh Eve Langlius, Millie Tatum, and Kate Baxter. I think this is like an anthology of like what's it called paranormal shifter romances and this is on my Libby and I don't need a physical copy because um, I'm scared. I'm pretty sure I probably won't like this. 
just I don't think so I don't know why I bought it but I did so um, if I ever do want to pick this up it's on Libby for me for free and then I lastly have a stack of historicals that I am getting rid of as well first I have my Lindsay Sands collection I have four books by Lindsay Sands and I've read these three and um I've realized she is not an author for me I don't think I've loved any of the books that I've read by her I think they've all been a mediocre three stars or lower so um I realized Lindsay Sands isn't for me so we're gonna unhaul her even though some of her step backs are really pretty I just am not in for it and then I haven't read this one yet but it is a part of one of these books a series I think like it's part of this series and I didn't like this so <laughs> yeah and so the ones that I'm getting rid of these two are in the same series this is Devil of the Highlands and this one is uh Taming the Highland Bride then this one is The Highlander Takes a Bride which I think this is one of the, yep, the fake ones. I knew it, the fake ones. It makes you think there's a pretty step back and there's not. And then also the one I have not read, which is Falling For, The Highlander. I've read so many of her audios too, and that are not, I don't have them physically. And just like, Lindsay Sands is not for me. The other historicals that I have, um, Heaven's Gift by Janelle Dennison. I just don't want this book anymore because I have a feeling that this is a romance with like an angel who's dead. Like that's what I think this is. And I don't want to read about that. And like, I think that either they both die or someone dies and there's no HEA. Like, I don't know why that's in my brain, but like, that's like why I have not wanted to pick this up one up for forever. So we're gonna unhaul it. Then I got this for like 99 cents at half price books and I just I have no desire to ever read it. <laughs> this is Gentle Fury by Monica Berry. The cover's really cool, iconic, but I don't think I'll ever read this. I got this book in a um, like mystery bag thing from my local small bookstore and I don't think I'll ever read it. This is A Dangerous Love by Brenda Joyce. I think it's like, book number 14 in the series. And I'm like, why do I have this? <laughs> I got Desert Rain by Elizabeth Lowell as a discard book at my library. They were just giving them away. If you didn't pick one up, they were gonna trash them. Um, and I don't really care for this. I, I couldn't take the binding off of it when I got home. So um, I just, I'm gonna unhaul it. Dark Fires by Rosemary Rogers. Like I first picked this up because of the cover. It looks iconic and like the pink edges are really cool, but like, the text is so tiny and it is so beat up and stained that I'm just like, I really don't want this in my beautiful historical collection. This is another one I got in a mystery bag that I don't think I'll ever get to, uh, Winter Fire by Joe Beverly. I think this is another case of like book number six in a series, you know? And then I also got this one, in my first ever, I think mystery box that I ever got on eBay. This one is called Clay by Anna Lee. And um, I just, I don't, I don't, Feel like reading this really so there you have it those are the books that i've unhauled from my shelves um and so there are a bunch of books in storage but i'm not going to talk about those because they're in storage i'm not taking them out of the house i'm not selling them um or giving them away so um i'm not going to be mentioning those but i have put a lot of books in storage let me know down below <laughs> if you have read any of these books i'm very curious and what you thought about them um but if you don't feel like commenting anything like that you can leave me a uh, book emoji of any kind in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.